hello my dear students as you know that there are many poets in this very world but i am going to tell you about the biography of khalil gibran khalil gibran was born in 1883 and uh, died in 1930 first uh, 31 khalil gibran known in arabic as gibran uh, khalil that is called khalil khalil gibran known in arabic as khalil gibran khalil gibran was born 6 january 1883 in lebanon which at the time was part of syria and part of the ottoman empire he was the youngest son of khalil shah gibran a tax collector eventually imprisoned for embezzlement and kamila gibran Mm, whose father uh, was a clergyman in the uh, maronite uh, christian church uh, and the later uh, and that uh, in 1885 uh, zibran immigrated uh, with his mother and uh, sibling uh, to the united states uh, where they settled in a large uh, in the large syrian and lebanese community in boston uh, it uh, it was uh, there that uh, zibran learned english uh, and enrolled in art classes uh, where where he learned uh, in in enrolled and art classes his mother supported the family as a uh, seamstress uh, and uh, by peddling lines at the age of 15 zibran was sent uh, by his mother to beirut uh, lebanon to attend a uh, Maronite school he returned to Boston in 1900 to 19 1900 to 1902 in that year the one that followed Gibran's sister Sultana half brother Butros and mother died of tuberculosis and cancer respectively his remaining living sisters mariana supported herself and gibran as a dressmaker in 1900 in 1904 gibran began publishing articles in an uh, in an arabic language newspaper and also had his first public exhibit of his drawings which were which were championed by the boston photographer fred holland gibran modeled zibran modeled for day who known who was known for his photographs of boys and young men it was through the data zibran's artwork attracted the attention of a woman 9 years his senior named mary haskell who ran an all girls school haskell became zibran's lifelong patron paying for him to study art at the academy julian in paris in 1900 Eight. There, Zibran made the sculpture, sculpture August Rodin, who reportedly once called him the William Blake of the 19th century. Zibran's hundred, Zibran's hundreds of drawings and paintings remain highly regarded. Haskell also enabled Zibran's move to New York City in 1911, where he settled in a one. in a one room apartment in bohemian green which village it a lunch in the village gibran met alfred nuff who would became his publisher in 1918 gibran's book of poems and parables the madman was published in 19 was published in 1923 in 1923 nuff published what would become gibran's most famous work the prophet the not met with a critical praise or early class success the book was never reviewed by the new york times for example for example and sold only 1 1200 copies in its first year the book became a phenomenon the profit has now sold more than 10 million copies making gibran one of the best selling poets in the world the biblically 
inspired the prophet was especially popular in the 1960s about this the translator and middle east historian john cole said many people turned away from the establishment of the church to gibran he offered a dogma free universal spiritual as opposed to orthodox religion and his vision of the spiritual was not a moralistic in fact he urged people to be non-judgmental zibran was active in a new york based arab american literary group called the pen league whose members promoted writing in arabic and english thoroughly his life thoroughly So let me start thoroughly his life he would publish 9 books in arabic and 8 in english which ruminate on love longing and death and explore religious theme he died of he died of cirrhosis of the liver uh, he died uh, some problem of the liver on april 10 1931 in new york city and he wrote many books uh, and uh, the most important poetry or that uh, the earth gods was published uh, 1934 31 jesus the son of man kingdom of the imagination sand and form the prophet uh, is my favorite uh, uh, poetry and uh, the forerunner the forerunner 20 drawings uh, the madman his parables and uh, poems uh, and uh, i've told you about uh, the khalil zibran and uh, i also told you about the some poetry of khalil zibran so that you must uh, you should go to khalil zibran and know and uh, and and know about the spirit holy spirit of khalil zibran so thank you so much uh, for watching this video and listening my words